Uterus Transplantation, Robotic Surgeon Perspective, Hubert Fornalik MD, Nicole Fornalik PA, Goshen Center for Cancer Care. The purpose of this video is to discuss advantages and disadvantages of utilization of robotic platform for deep pelvic surgery. To demonstrate robotic dissection of uterine vessels and implications of such technique for harvesting the uterus from live donor for transplantation. The presented video is based on nerve sparing robotic radical hysterectomy case. Such case is considered to be difficult. We are going to demonstrate preservation of pelvic autonomic nerves in the background. Explanation of nerve sparing radical hysterectomy technique is beyond the scope of this video. Educational 15 minute video on robotic assisted nerve sparing Okabayashi radical hysterectomy is available from European Society of Gynecological Oncology. Preservation of autonomic nerves during the dissection of pelvic sidewall, uterosacral ligament and vesicouterine ligament is demonstrated. Preservation of splanchnic nerves by identifying deep uterine vein and not dissecting below that level is demonstrated in later part of the video. We have performed approximately 60 robotic nerve sparing radical hysterectomies with no conversions to laparotomy. Blood loss was typically half to one third of what was experienced during open surgeries. Approximately 10% of patients had compromised bladder function as compared with 30% of patients treated with laparotomy. In all robotic cases, those outcomes were contributed to unusual circumstances. Long robotic surgeries present unique challenges from anesthesia and positioning perspective. In this video, we are going to focus on feasibility of robotic dissection and utilization of internal iliac artery and vein patches for wider anastomosis. Problems with blood supply and compromised venous outflow has been most common causes of graft failure when performed via laparotomy. First, we will demonstrate pelvic vessels anatomy. During the dissection of deep pelvic vessels, we will discuss potential benefits of robotic approach. Here, right external iliac vein is seen from the lateral approach. Anterior trunk and posterior trunk on internal iliac vein come together at the confluence with obturator vein. Nerve sparing radical hysterectomy requires very meticulous dissection. During laparotomy, the dissection is performed with surgical loops with 2.5 magnification. In US, it is typically performed as a robotic procedure, which seems to provide better approach for patients with not ideal BMI. In our experience, patients with BMI even more than 50 were able to successfully undergo this procedure. Uterine transplantation is an experimental procedure. The technique for harvesting of the uterus from live donor continues to evolve. Looking at the experience of precise dissection of uterine vessels during nerve spring robotic radical hysterectomy, Similar approach to transplant harvesting offers many potential benefits. As demonstrated by many studies, robotic procedures offer less complications and faster recovery, which may be especially notable in high-risk patients or procedures. Due to limitations of CT and MRI in assessing size of uterine vessels, robotic dissection could allow to abort the procedure with minimally consequences to the donor if vessels were found to be too small. In our opinion, though, this problem can be also solved by collecting internal iliac artery and vein patches for reanastomosis. Vasculature of the transplant seems to be the most critical aspect, as two out of five cases from Baylor University failed in the settings of venous congestion and one out of five in settings of ischemia. In our opinion, robotic surgery provides unparalleled ability to dissect uterine vessels. This statement is further supported by success of robotic nerve sparing radical hysterectomy over other approaches to this procedure in the United States. Deep uterine vessels and internal iliac venous plexus anatomy is highly variable and delicate. Cleaner dissection, better hemostasis, and visualization may result in shorter learning curve. This attribute of robotic surgery likely contributed to its rapid adaptation by majority of gynecologists, out of whom many had no laparoscopic experience. Due to proximity of robotic instruments and camera to pelvic vessels, a reaction time in case of injury is much shorter than during laparotomy and may allow for more rapid control of bleeding. 
On the contrary though, the technique of controlling especially large hemorrhage is much easier and intuitive during laparotomy. Robotic technique requires experience and reliable team. Those skills certainly can be developed. In our experience of 600 lymphadenectomies, we had one conversion related to vessel injury. During harvesting of the uterus, one is probably more likely to experience injury to small vessels that are vital for survival of the transplant. Those, in our opinion, are more likely to be repaired without sacrificing vessels robotically rather than during laparotomy. In our abstract, we have demonstrated previously robotic repair of ovarian vessels and inferior mesenteric artery. Similar results were reported by others. Robotic approach with precise dissection of deep uterine vessels may allow for preservation of those vessels within the transplant. Here the anatomy of internal iliac vein is demonstrated. External iliac vein, confluent veins, obturator vein, internal iliac vein, superficial uterine vein and deep uterine vein. Harvesting of internal iliac vein patch proximally to the confluence would result in vessel of 8 to 9 mm in diameter, but it would require sacrificing posterior trunk and obturator vein. Here is the summary. To decrease risk of contamination of uterus by vaginal flora, the specimen can be removed in endobag after placement of wound protector via vagina. In order to decrease warm ischemia time, the uterus can be completely detached, like during robotic radical trachelectomy, except for internal iliac vessels. Those would be transected last with endo-GIA stapler. At that moment, the uterus would fall into already awaiting endobag. With appropriate training and coordination, this could keep warm ischemia time to approximately 2 minutes. Alternatively, internal iliac pedicles and removal of the uterus can be accomplished via mini laparotomy with preservation of benefits of minimally invasive surgery like we illustrated in our paper on hand-assisted robotic surgery. Successful team needs to be experienced and very familiar with deep pelvic vessel anatomy. Enough repetition during other similar cases is critical as it's going to be difficult to develop skills only during uterine transplantation as those procedures are rare. Consequently, it appears that experienced high-volume robotic gynecological oncology team regularly performing nerve sparing radical hysterectomy will have best chances of adapting uterine harvesting procedure to robotic technique. Thank you for your attention.